Okay, I'm going to go over some of the new implementations within the game. Uh, first off, I added a direction tracker, which basically just means that uh, it knows where to cast a spell because it just basically tracks the last button you pressed. That's a direction key. So if I'm going down, cast a spell, cast it, you know, down. If I'm going up, cast a spell, cast it up. Uh, the next thing I added, if you might not have noticed, is uh, the bar right here. And real quickly, I want to note, uh, everything you see graphically might not make uh, much sense because most graphics here are just placeholders. But uh, yeah, let's go over uh, the skills then before we get to the bar. Uh, press the menu here, you'll see the skills. You start with three skills. Uh, it's highlighted here. Uh, the grayish color employer just tells you that it's a melee skill. Uh, let's go over one. Here's the basic magic skill. It's, you know, magic type attack and then basic heal, all color coded. So let's go back. And right here is the basic attack. Right here is the basic magic attack. And right here is the heal. And if you notice, too, go real back. Um, there's the cooldown. So you wait, you know, one second, five seconds for the heal and two seconds for the magic ability. So if I go here and cast him, which 3 corresponds to this hotbar, 1 corresponds to the middle one, and then the fire key, or the uh, middle key, uh, represents the first bar slot. Um, so let's just go kill this thing. Uh, let's do 1, cast that, uh, do that. Okay, he's dead. Go over the item, just like before. And now, basically, the inventory uh has the information name stuff like that now so leather gloves armor all this stuff needs to be changed uh that's about it for that uh a lot of the changes i made were basically behind the scenes i mean not too much physically has changed but a lot basically like i said behind the scenes have changed i've basically added uh, over 500 lines of code and as you see not much has changed except for this bar and uh the information for the skills and items but besides that uh, like I added a combat formula little things like that and next I hope to add the players equipment slots which should be fine and then after that hopefully I'll be able to add a few more things and then begin the basic design and then work on the enemy AI which will then make the enemies fight back. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, hopefully next time I post I'll have a lot more to talk about visually.